and welcome again to Cottage Talk. I am Russ Goldman. This is another episode of Cottage Talk Full Media Buzz. This one is entitled The Madness at the End of the Window. We have a lot going on. We have a couple of signings for Fulham Football Club that I'll be talking about that have happened over the last couple of days. Then I'll be ending with speculation recently about Ja Polina. I'll be ending the show talking about that. There's going to be a lot going on in the next couple of days. I will be having a preview of the Manchester City match recording on Thursday. On Friday, I will be presenting my interview with Tony Gale. And over the weekend, we're going to have post-match shows of the Manchester City match, and we will have a wrap-up of the transfer window. So there's a lot going on. But before I get started talking about the latest and the greatest, let me just mention, as always, please do subscribe on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. It does help other film supporters find us. Listen, I'm still in a good mood from the match from last night. Full move on in the Carabao Cup. But of course, we have some interesting news in the media today about Jao Polina that I'll be talking about at the end of the show. But before I do that, let's start on a positive. Let's talk about two stories, which are right on the Fulham website. So it's still media because it's still part of what's going on in the media. It's two signings. So let's start with the one that happened the other day. And this one, I think, is going to be a great signing for Fulham Football Club. The article on the Fulham website is entitled Castagna Signs for Fulham. It's from Jeff Proust. So I'm just going to read from the article and just share my thoughts on it. The club is delighted to announce the signing of Timothy Castagna from Western City for an undisclosed fee. A right back who's perfectly adept at operating on the opposite side as well. Castagna has agreed a contract until the summer of 2027 with an option to extend by a further 12 months. Speaking to FFC TV at Craven Cottage, Castagna said, I feel very good. It's been a long transfer window, but finally I'm here. I'm happy to be here. It's a big relief. I've talked to the manager. I just can't wait to start training. Tony Khan added, quote, I'm excited to welcome Timothy Castagna to Fulham. He's a versatile and very talented defender with great experience in the Premier League and international competition for Belgium. I'm pleased that Timothy has committed to a four-year contract with us, and we believe that he'll be an excellent addition to Marco's squad. Come on, Fulham. Unquote. Okay, so that's from Tony Khan and also from Timothy Castagna before that. Okay, so thoughts on the signing. I love this signing. This is someone with Premier League experience. I think he will be very good competition for Kenny Tete. Kenny Tete has been excellent, but it's always good to have competition. He can also play on the left. I do have a feeling Fulham will be bringing in a left back or trying to bring in a left back, but it's good that they've brought in another fullback. And I think Castagna. If you've seen him play, I think he's a perfect fit for how Marco wants to play. This is an excellent signing, I believe, for Fulham Football Club. I'm not saying he's going to be the starter, but I think he will give Kenny Tete some really good competition. I love this signing for Fulham, so I wanted to start by talking about Castagna. Now I'm going to talk about another signing. This one actually surprised me. So I'm going to read from the article entitled, Fulham signed Bender. This just happened today, which is Wednesday. So I'm going to read from the article. The club is pleased to announce the signing of Stephen Bender from Swansea City for an undisclosed fee. The 24-year-old has agreed a deal until the summer of 2026 with a club option to extend by a further year. Speaking to FFC TV after putting pen to paper, Bender said, quote, I'm really happy. It's a massive club with a lot of history and tradition, so I'm really happy to be here. Just look at this stadium and the club itself playing for Marco Silva. It was a very easy decision, unquote. And we also have a quote from Tony Khan, quote, I'm pleased to welcome Stephen Bender to Fulham. He's a talented young goalkeeper, and while he's currently recovering from injury, we've monitored him for some time and believe that he'll be a valuable addition to Marco's squad upon his return Come on, Fulham, unquote. Okay, so this one's interesting because it's another young goalkeeper. I like the fact that they're bringing in 
a young goalkeeper. I did not know that he was injured. So he's coming back from injury. So we'll see how soon he gets up and running. What does this mean for Marek Rodak? Marek Rodak, I think, has been a very good backup. Something tells me he could be going potentially out on loan, maybe sold altogether, which is unfortunate. I think Marek Rodak has deserved to be at Fulham Football Club. We'll see how this all plays out. But um, I only wish him the best. Whatever happens with Rodak, will they keep him? I don't know. But I have nothing against bringing in another quality young player. And this is a young player, a young goalkeeper. We have a top-notch goalkeeper in Baron Leno. It's always good to develop other young goalkeepers. So I'm not against the signing. I'm just curious to see what ends up happening with Marek Rodek. So it's something that we're going to have to watch. Okay, coming up next in the second half of the show, I'm going to share my thoughts on the recent speculation with Zhao Polina. Okay, so now it's time to talk about what's been going on with Zhao Polina. Before I mention that, I just want to just share my thoughts on Polina coming back and how valuable I think he is to Fulham Football Club. Let's start there. So you could see it in the match against Arsenal. He changed the game for Fulham Football Club. The fact that he was in, Fulham are a completely different team with Paulina. In my mind, you don't sell him at all because I see what he brings Fulham Football Club. You also saw when they played against Tottenham Hotspur how valuable he is, how integral he is to Marco's system. A loss like this could really be devastating for Fulham Football Club because I don't see a replacement that they could get that does exactly what Paulina does right now. There's only a few days left of the window. So for me, this one, I don't want to sell Zhao Paulina under any cost. That's just me. I'm just speaking for me. He's too valuable to Fulham Football Club. I think if you do that, you are risking a lot on getting things right, get, finding a replacement that can do what Polina can do. I'm totally against that. In fact, I can't imagine that the cons have the stomach or the fans have the stomach or the players or Marco has the stomach for losing Mitrovic and Polina in the same window. I just can't believe that they would actually pull the trigger on that. Also, when I watch Polina, and listen, things can change, but whenever I've watched Polina, I've only seen someone, I'm just talking about what I've watched that loves the club. It looks like he loves the club, absolutely loves the club, kisses the badge, points to the badge, does all of this. And I could see his emotion last night against Tottenham. I saw it against Arsenal. Does not look like a player that wants to leave Fulham Football Club. It, he just doesn't. On top of it, I can't imagine that the cons would do this because I think if they were to sell Paulina, they would risk losing the manager, Marco Silva. I truly believe that. So there's a lot riding on the next few days, a ton riding on it. And I didn't think we would have to have a conversation about Paulina speculation. I just didn't think it would be possible. Well, Russ Goldman proven wrong because there is speculation today and it's coming out of Germany. And I'm going to read what I have seen recently. Now, again, when I'm recording this, which would be about four o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Wednesday here in the United States, things can change because I've seen a lot of speculation today on Paulina and Bayern Munich, a ton of it. So I'm just going to share the one that I see from Florian Plettenberg, who is a journalist in Germany. And this is what he tweeted out. Jao Polina, he wants to join FC Bayern. Now the clubs are working on a solution. Personal terms, not an issue as a 28-year-old is waiting for an agreement between the clubs now. Silva wants to keep him, but understand that Polina is not unsaleable. He is ready for the next step. So saw this tweet. I actually had someone send this tweet to me. And at first glance, I'm like, uh-oh, this looks really bad. This looks like this could be something that could potentially happen. And obviously, anything is possible. 
But when I really thought about it and gave it some more thought, and I'm thinking a lot would have to happen for Fulham to sell Paulina. They would have to find a replacement. They would have to get the money that they need for Paulina in 48 hours. A lot would have to happen for them to go ahead and pull the trigger on this. I just don't know if they're willing to do that. Now, one part of this story that did surprise me was of Florian's part where he says Paulian wants to join FC Bayern. Am I buying this? I don't know. I mean, this is a, a well-respected journalist, but it could also be one that is getting sources from, say, the German side of this, maybe not the Fulham side of it. So I'm not exactly sure who her sources are on this, but when someone puts it out there on Twitter, it's hard not to take a look at it. So I will give him the benefit of the doubt on this because he put this out there. He put his reputation on the line by putting that out there. I just have watched a player that is love Fulham Football Club, so it's hard for me to believe that he would want to leave now. I understand who Bayern Munich are, so I get that, but I have a hard time deciphering between this tweet and what I've watched with Jao Pauline. So I have a hard time looking at this and thinking that this could happen, but anything is possible. I still find this unlikely to happen because I just don't see Fulham having the stomach to do it. They shouldn't be doing this. I don't want Fulham to do this because I think if you sell Paulina, you are opening yourself up for a relegation battle. And I don't think any of us want that. I don't think the cons want that. So one, I don't know if Bayern Munich can come up with the money. That's number one. And number two, I don't know if the cons have the stomach for this. So I'm hoping that this goes nowhere, but it's, it's in the media right now. So I have to talk about it. I'm giving it some weight, but in the end, I don't think it's going to happen. That's just my opinion. I'm just giving you my opinion. I'm looking at from a foam perspective, it makes no sense to do this. It makes absolutely no sense. He's on a long-term contract. I did say that about Metro. I absolutely did. Look what happened there. The problem here is the timeline and also the fact that you sold Metro. So what are you saying to your supporters if you sell Metro and Pauli in the same window? You're saying you don't have any ambition. I can't imagine the cons would actually do this. And I hope they don't. But only time will tell, and I cannot wait for this window to close. What I would like to do is concentrate on the players coming in the door, as someone said to me as well. And I'm with that person who said this to me. Let's concentrate on the players coming through the door, not what might be happening leaving. Because, again, we'll see what happens. I don't think this will happen. That's just my opinion. But I was wrong about Mitro. I hope I'm not wrong about this. We'll end up seeing what's happening. It's something that we're going to have to follow. But it is a real story, and we're just going to have to watch it. Okay. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of Cottage Talk. As always, please do subscribe on YouTube and Apple Podcasts. It does help other film supporters find us. Well, that's going to do it for this episode. My name is Russ Goldman. Thank you, as always, for watching and listening to Cottage Talk, part of the Talk Sport Fan Network.